Hey guys, so I'm finally doing the soil interview. I think I posted about this on Twitter and whatnot like two weeks ago or something. Bottom line, don't ever trust me when it comes to like when videos are coming out or, or anything. Just just assume if I say this is coming out soon, it's probably not going to be soon. Nine times out of ten, it won't be soon. Uh, but I am glad that I waited on this one actually because I have now tried three out of their four products. So I have tried this, the Soylent Drink. I have tried uh, their two recent editions that came out last month, the Coffeeist. Uh, I don't know what the title, I'm assuming that's from something like Soylent, but I don't know what. Um, and then their Soylent Bar, I don't have the packaging for that, but I have tried that as well. Uh, the only thing I've not tried is the Soylent Powder, which is essentially this just obviously powder form that you add water to. So for those who don't know what Soylent is, it is a uh, meal replacement uh, drink basically, uh, developed by Rob Reinhardt, I believe is his name. Um, it started, I actually became aware of this very, very early on when he just had his blog. I think he had like two blog posts and he was just talking about, um, he's a, I think he's a software engineer and he was just talking about how much he hated cooking and he hated dealing with food. He just wanted something that he could just consume and be done with it. And so he came up with this kind of mix of supplements basically is what it is. Uh, just protein, carbs, fat, really basic. And then just all the rest of the vitamins and, and minerals that you need. And um, he was doing it kind of on his own and I think it was costing him like $50 a month or something. That's what was really intriguing to me was the potential for something like that that's so easy and convenient but also really cheap. But long story short, he went and made this a thing and they did a Kickstarter, which I don't even think I knew that until just kind of verifying things here recently. And it is vegan, uh, which is very, very cool. It wasn't always early on. They did have uh, fish oil. I remember being uh, kind of disappointed about that, but they did end up replacing it, which is super awesome. And uh, yeah, it's been vegan ever since just the main thing. I think for a while they did actually have, they might have still had a vegan version. I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, the, the the main one was, did have fish oil. But uh, it is vegan. Also, the other really cool thing is that they are pro-GMO, as they say, proudly pro-GMO. They regularly promote that. I follow them on Twitter and I see them, you know, posting that a lot, which I just love. That is so awesome. That may be like the one thing that's like advertised as vegan that's actually like, yes, we have genetically modified ingredients and we're proud of it. That's pretty dope. The other thing too, um, and this is something that I, I just found out recently, just looking more at their site. Again, this is not something I've been really interested in purchasing, mostly because of, of the price point um, of it. Um, and I, I was able to try these because they were given to me, not by the company, but by my mom who purchases them. So um, otherwise it's just not something um, I, I would buy. I'll talk about cost more in a moment. But also the thing that's changed is it's not being advertised as like, this is all you consume for a day, which was kind of the big, um, the thing that intrigued me the most in the beginning. So they say now, um, I think the, the, the line is, uh, while not intended to replace every meal, it can replace any meal. And this is really good, particularly for the drink. And this is, uh, I think the one difference between the drink and the powder, the drink does not have enough fiber. Um, so this is 400 calories. So if you're consuming 2000 calories, I think you'd get like 15 grams of fiber or something. So not enough, whereas the powder does have, I think the powder for 2000 calories has like 28 or 30 grams or something like that. So um, it's definitely not, um, I would say that's not nutritionally complete. That's not something that you would want to consume uh, as the only thing that you consume. Speaking of calories, um, again, this is based on consuming 2000 calories a day. Uh, this, you know, it's, it's formulated to meet the RDA for someone who consumes 2000 calories. Not everyone consumes 2000 calories. There are plenty of women, for instance, um, who only need maybe 1800, 1700 calories. So if that that's, you know, either they're going to be consuming too many calories or they are, you know, cutting back a little bit and then not, you know, getting all of the nutrients they need. Another issue is iron. Um, this is, uh, again, this is vegan. So the iron is not heme iron. It is plant-based iron. It is not heme, heme iron. So it is less bioavailable and um, this may be an issue for, again, women, menstruating women, particularly those of us with really heavy flows who may need more iron. Um, if you are drinking only Soylent, uh, you know, five of these a day, then you are only getting about 18 milligrams. That is the RDA, but um, again, for vegans, it may not be enough. 
Finally is sodium. This is actually really low in sodium. Um, if you were to drink only this and only this, 2000 calories, I believe you would get 1500 uh, milligrams. I know most uh, bodies say that that's like really great, uh, but I highly encourage you to watch the uh, healthcare triage video on sodium on salt. Um, you may think otherwise. So those are the things that make this uh, definitely not something that you would want to consume as your only source of uh, of calories. And again, the company is not uh, stating that that is what you should do. I watched their little video. It's the first thing they say in the video. And it's also on their uh, labeling as well, right above the part that's like, anyone who's pregnant should check with their doctor. It's like, I don't think there's anything in this that would be detrimental to pregnant women, but you know, they gotta cover their asses. So what would be the purpose of something like this? Um, again, it is particularly the drink where you don't even have to mix anything up. Um, it's very, very convenient. It's, uh, I like that it is, it's very, very high in protein. If you only consume this, you would get 100 grams of protein a day. That's awesome. Lots of fat as well. Uh, so very, very satisfying. Um, it's, it's really close to actually what I eat just in my normal um, diet. Uh, it's very close to actually one of the smoothies that I normally make that's very high in protein and fat. Uh, so that's, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, it's the, it's the convenience um, factor. It is, uh, again, I, I mentioned the cost. That's kind of an issue for me. This is, uh, close to $3 a bottle, I believe, which is uh, a little much. Um, so even if you're having like one of these a day, that, that's a little much for me, particularly again, since I can make something like a, a smoothie really, really easily. Um, obviously not as convenient as this. I still have to put some in a blender and blend it up. Um, but for me, that's kind of worth it um, instead of spending more. The other thing is that this is re can really be like a replacement for uh, something like Ensure, something that is used for people who are struggling to get in calories for various reasons. Um, my mom actually uses it for this. She has certain medication that she has to take on a daily basis and she needs to eat a certain amount of calories. Calories. I believe it's 350 calories when she takes that medication and she really struggles to do that. Um, I know some people are like, what? That's not even a lot of calories. But for some people, it really is. It's really hard to eat that much. Um, and this is an easy way uh, for her to just drink this really fast and take her medicine. So um, I think that's probably really the, the coolest and the best application because, again, something like Ensure is not vegan. I don't know of any other um, alternative, something like this that is vegan. There is a... Uh, I forgot the brand, but um, they have some kind of meal replacement, little tiny container, but it's got barely any calories and it's organic and it's like really expensive. I've seen that at, at, I believe I've seen it at Kroger and Walmart, but again, this is far superior. The other cool thing that I just thought of the other day, and I'm so proud of myself, is uh, for hospital use. So uh, those of you who probably know, I am pregnant and I'm going to be in the hospital for at least a couple of days when I give birth. And um, hospitals are not known for being very accommodating <laughs> towards vegans. I've been reading all this information from people and overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly it's like, just bring your own food. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to receive uh, quality care, very likely. Uh, so it dawned on me, oh my god, this would be the best thing to bring. Like we don't have to worry about having our uh, kitchen stocked with like granola bars and nuts and snacks and like whatever else and trying to, you know, make stuff and and because it's kind of an issue. You don't know like when you're going to give birth unless you obviously have a planned induction or C-section or something like that. Um, it's kind of hard to plan for something like this. But if we can just buy like some of these and just have them in the pantry or in the fridge or whatever, and then it's like, OK, time to do this and just take them. Oh, my God, that'd be so great. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for thinking of that. So that's all the stuff. As a mule replacement thing, I think it's pretty great. If it were cheaper, it's something I would, uh, I would probably consider, honestly. Uh, my appetite is just not super great. It hasn't been this entire pregnancy, and it would be nice to have something that I could just kind of uh, chug down really fast if it were just just a little cheaper for me. Um, so now taste. What you're all probably wondering is what the hell does this stuff taste like? Um, I am in the not quite a fan camp. I don't think it's disgusting. I know some people are just like it's bland and, and horrible and it makes them gag um, and the texture as well. The texture is very, very, very smooth. I'm super happy with the texture. It's got, um, it's kind of creamy without being like super thick or anything like that. It's, it's just really, it's really smooth and creamy. It's really, really nice. Uh, the taste is 
it's it's bland it is bland it's um it's kind of like oatmeal it's like if you blended up oats and removed like half of the oat flavor <laughs> this is this is what you would be left with um it's not sweet at all it maybe has a mild very mild sweetness which i think is smart and and i know i believe earlier versions were sweeter i believe they had uh sucralose i don't this might have some sucralose but i leave, believe there was more of it and some people complained because obviously you know someone like me i would prefer this to be sweet right but a lot of people wouldn't and for me, you know, you can add, but you can't really take away, right? If something's already sweet, you're, you're kind of fucked. Whereas me, what I can do and what I did, and it was delicious, is I took this and I blended it with, uh, let's see, a banana and a whole bunch of cinnamon and vanilla extract. I think that was it. It was just really simple and it was so good. It almost has an like an eggnog type of taste. And it was it was really, really delicious. I really, really liked it. Um, but it kind of defeats the purpose of having an easy to drink thing. Now I'm just making a smoothie, which I was doing before. So it's, uh, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I understand why it has that bland flavor. So if people don't like it, they can, you know, add to it, obviously. Whereas if it were just sweet uh, and you don't like sweet, well, you're not really going to like this. But uh, yeah, for me, drinking it on its own, I can do it. I talked about bringing it to the hospital. It's it's something that I, I can do if I have to, but it's not, it's not very, it's not very enjoyable. It's not like, oh, this is delicious. It's like, well, it's food. The coffee yeast, which was the next thing that I tried, is basically the same exact thing. Well, it is. It is the same exact thing as the Soylent drink, but with coffee, with a cup's worth of uh, coffee of caffeine in it. So 100 something milligrams of caffeine, I believe. And it tastes exactly like the Soylent drink, but with coffee in it. And it's like, man, this would be delicious if there were just some sweet in it. If there were just some sweetener, I would love this so much. And finally, the bar, which uh, I don't have, uh, I don't have the packaging for that. And that is my favorite in terms of taste. It is so delicious. It's a caramel flavor. I don't know if they're coming out with other flavors. I assume they are, uh, but it's a, a caramel flavor and it's kind of got some crunchy in it. I believe some like puffed rice in it. And it's really delicious. It's super, super sweet. And it is just so tasty. Um, that one is definitely just like a little snack thing. It's uh, 250 calories, I think 13 grams of protein. And that's it. That's my uh, feeling on Soylent. It's not something I will be buying. I might be buying some for the hospital. Uh, I probably will be doing that. Uh, that's pretty great. But otherwise, for just everyday use, um, it's just too expensive to me. Um, I can spend a lot less just making a smoothie and taking a multivitamin every day, you know, taking my prenatal. <laughs> Kitty disagrees. Apparently he is a big fan of Soylent. Uh, yeah, but again, if you are someone maybe who struggles to take medication and you're vegan, this may be an awesome option for you. Or if you just value convenience more than the cost, then obviously this would be an awesome option for you. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe and I will have a video 